guys just a small reminder that today is sunday the second and i will be doing a live at 4 p.m eastern standard time i was supposed to do the live yesterday but i was kind of tired so i wrapped it up um so one of my subscribers had sent me um this video i'm going to put the link to the video it's about an hour long i want you guys to listen to what this horrible man uh, that was a polygamy cult leader had did to several people in his cult. I'm going to briefly discuss it. And I also want to briefly discuss why he uh, is just as dangerous. If not, he's more dangerous than Nature Boy is. And also the nature of why they are holding Nature Boy where he's at because he is a threat to the community. And when you listen to what I have to say, you'll understand. Um, and this is also for his supporters um, to also understand because people that are still supporting him definitely are under the brainwash and manipulation. And they need to think outside of the box and have a, a clear understanding why the courts, local authorities, Everyone wants to make sure that the community is safe because Nature Boy, if uh, not detained right now, could, in fact, at one point or another, become how this man, Peter Lucas, had became. Um, I'm going to, uh, again, put the video link and a few, few articles on where to find the information know that I'm a small channel and I'm not like a Tasha K channel. She's a larger channel. That's why she can get up there and drink her wine and, you know, uh, cuss all through the video because she's a larger channel. So YouTube is a little bit more lenient on larger channel holders. So I don't want to have this channel, uh, you know, go outside of community guidelines and then we're not able to share the information that needs to be shared to the public so we're going to try to stay in the guidelines of policies but also be able to share the information so this dude peter lucas he had a cult um he was married to multiple women like nature boy and he also had kids from these women some of these women came with kids um, jumping right into it, there was a woman that he was with that had a child. The child was four years old that Peter Lucas believed that the child was gay. Um, the child was four years old. And he also believed that the reason why the baby's father had left the woman prior to her going over to be with uh, Peter and his other wives is because the father must have been gay. So he ordered the woman to try and, well not try, to kill her child. Um, then he decided that he was gonna do it. So speeding up to what had happened, he took the young child into the garage and ended his life with one bullet to the head. Um, then, uh, they, uh, uh, then he had the women go and clean up the garage and dispose of the body, which the body was uh, kept in the garage for some time until it had a smell to it, and then they moved the body. Um, the mother still was a part of this community. I just want to say to you, because <laughs> you probably are mad at the mother, I'm going to tell you before the end of this video, I'm going to tell you right now, when he finally got caught because there were two from as much information as i have gathered women that you know the woman who was a victim because her child was taken by pete lucas um she was still in the cult she remained in a cult but they sentenced her when they found out of all this gruesome stuff he was doing in this um community with these women that he called his wives, they later on sentenced her to 30 years. So for anyone who's upset and you want to know right now, what did they do with that woman that stayed there in that community, knowing that this man did this to their child, she got 30 years um, because she knew what happened to her child. She didn't try to 
help the situation and she allowed it to happen and um they gave her 30 years of course he's also locked up right now then there was another woman he figured out that she couldn't have children and um they allegedly said that he beat on the woman all day long when she had came back to the house one day um and then he decided to take her in the bathroom and he ended her life with a gun the women knowingly knowing what was going on they also cleaned up the mess and acted as though uh, you know, life was just normal. Lucas Moses Jr. His full name, Peter Lucas Moses Jr. This man had that whole house terrified. Now, of course, because of his actions and because of what these women allowed to happen, they all um, are suffering. And even the kids were. The kids had expressed when they were talked to that they were uh, very afraid of their father. Um, the women, you know, of course, they also, you know, had to serve some time too because they were accessory to uh, these gruesome crimes and they were a part of it because no one, even, you know, them being able to go out and uh, get a job and work because he didn't work. He stayed home all day and they worked and he stayed home. They could have went to the local authorities. So they just... Uh, it was as much to blame as he was. Um, so this is why we must have these systems in uh, place. You know, to sum it up in a nutshell. I'm not going to be here all day because um, I, I don't really, it doesn't really resonate with me to sit and talk about um, these type of topics. That's why I'm going to be shifting the top topics really soon because you know, it's draining. It's a sad situation. And, you know, these people are sick. Mental illness is real. For you to sit there and go through life knowing that you did that to an innocent child that couldn't even defend themselves, um, hasn't even been in the world for only four years. You know, you're not a man. You're a monster. You're evil. And I feel as though, you know, a lot of people might say, Injust for nature boy he's not getting the justice he needs they're trying to hold a black man down no they're trying to um protect the community because they all saw what we saw the courts the legal system the fbi question question the cia everyone who had to decide what level of justice uh, had to take over uh, going in to get Nature Boy, whether it was on the state level, federal level, or whatever. They had to make the sound decision to get him because he fits the bill of somebody already getting away with a lot. And they didn't want to do a how far can he go and then something happened on their watch. He was a liability. He's a, a threat to the community. People are literally going over there and allowing this man to do this to them. How far would Nature Boy go if he wasn't stopped is what you need to tell yourself. And this also goes to his supporters because their supporters that they think that what's going on with Nature Boy is dead wrong. Not understanding that we already seen someone lo lose their life on Nature Boy's watch and that was Mama Dear. So, you know, we just don't need any more victims. Um, at least the victims that are, that, that are over in carbonation or left, they're able to still be here and get the help that they need and prosper and move on with their life. But it's going to be a healing journey for them because they've been subjected to it for so long. And I'm quite sure it is for these women of Peter Lucas uh, Mo Moses Jr., they're probably going through a healing process too and so are their children and then other people, their families that were affected um, as well. So this doesn't just hurt one or two people. It, hurt, it hurts a, a community. It can hurt a nation. And if we turn the other cheek and say it's not our problem, this can really get out of control. 
and we just have to be acknowledgeable about these situations and, and, and understand that they do exist, you know, and uh, we have to nip it in the bud because if we don't, you know, the world is, is not a safe place.